Hey, Ryan here, and I am back with the Egyptian Bronze Age, thanks to Neil Burridge. And we have our Egyptian Bronze Age spear. This is the same design they used in the New Kingdom all the way up into the Middle Bronze Age. And we have tested a Middle Bronze Age spear before on an analog head. Wait, hold up. I could not find the actual video that that test was in. I'm almost positive I remember doing it. I looked through my entire library on YouTube of all the videos. If someone out there knows the videos better than I do myself, be sure and link that in the comments down below. If not, this is probably the very first Bronze Age spear test on an analog ballistics gel head on Thane Thran, the YouTube channel. This is the next part of this video. We're doing an analog head and we're going to test this specific design and the design on this stayed the same all the way from the new kingdom to the uh, middle bronze age and the other spears we were using were more like the greeks would have had early period in bronze so a little bit different but today we're going to be trying this specific shape and it had to be very effective and it had to be effective as a shorter spear a lot of the uh a lot of the uh, spears would have been much longer than spears. this because they use them with shields, just like uh, you see here. I mean, this is not an actual Egyptian shield. They did have some short, uh, smaller round ones uh, early period, and then they went into the classic design everybody knows where you see a much uh, squared out bottom, longer shield, still a center boss rounded at the top. But we do have this today to use because we are using a uh, spear, and that's a good way of going about it. But what I'd like to do at the beginning of this video is I'd like to thank everyone out there who helped us through our spot fund. Uh, but a lot of people, if you don't know what happened, we'd lost my old homestead, the house that I grew up in and my family owned. We lost it because the county basically said we owed a whole bunch of money on it when I inherited it, when the taxes were completely paid up. They were paid up at my father's rate. He was a senior citizen, disabled, and a veteran. And he had the house homesteaded himself, so that lowers the rate. But uh, he had passed away. My mother lived there for about 15 years, which in the homestead law, it should have been hers. The house should have been hers. No one could take it away from her or anything like that. But since she didn't go down there physically and she was disabled and transfer the deed, they went ahead and said, well, you know, it never was in her name. He passed away 15 years ago when I inherited it and went back that far and threw a debt at us like you wouldn't believe. It was almost the actual price of that house, what they thought it was worth around forty thousand dollars when i inherited it over the years i wasn't able to pay it back because that uh previous balance the one that was you know i could pay on the modern principle but the previous balance they consider it delinquent because it's 15 years old and no one had paid on it you had to pay 20 percent down and pay it off in one year and i'm like well there's no way i could do that at the time it wasn't even possible we don't even make that much money from the videos to to do anything like that i mean they don't even actually even give us uh, anything back other than they help cover some of the, st the cost and expenses that we do in the videos i'd love to do youtube as a uh, you know as a main job if people out there keep sharing our videos subscribing uh and letting people know about us and uh, if you can help out at patreon that would be great too to keep us going on the channel all the links will be down below in the description uh if people want to keep helping us with the house situation because we would love to be able to buy the homestead back and we do have two years to do that it's extremely expensive so by some uh miracle of the gods someone was able to donate enough money or over time everybody does we could possibly buy it back and we would the way it's going i mean heck we really love this new house it's got a huge uh backyard better for videos than we had before it's got a huge shed that was an old two-car garage so it's actually a three-car garage they say we've got a garage on the side it's a four-bedroom house and it's beautiful i really do like this neighborhood and i like the house we are renting it it is a better amount of rent it's it's lower than what they were asking us for at the old house when SWE Homes took it from us. I mean, pretty much they bought it at the auction. The county actually took it from us. But they weren't going to fix it, keep it up. They weren't going to do anything for us at all. And they wanted way more money than we're actually paying here. And these people actually keep up their property. So SWE Homes, shame on them. I'm sorry, but they didn't even give us a notice before they evicted us. They literally evicted us and gave us seven days to find a new location. And I mean, that was actually the uh the constable coming and then kicking us out in seven days so we moved it took 24 hours to move because of the time frame and us finding a new location and them giving us the okay to move stuff in but we were able to do it we were able to get our stuff here we did lose a few things we're sure up here we, we're not sure all that we lost because it's all packed up but i can assure you out of the arms and armor i can only think about two or three things that somehow we forgot or we can't find right now so we're doing pretty good on that 
you all saved our uh, our entire channel so we're able to keep doing videos but how often I put those videos out is going to really rely on, on uh, funds and that's all I'm letting everybody know so if you can help through Patreon and you're able to do it any little amount helps uh, if you don't like stuff like Patreon or spot fund to help us because you can use that still too I can still access money from it if needed and it will go towards the house if if we can buy it back or to help stay in this home here I think he the pumpkin as much as we like this toy. home if they were i don't think they're selling it but if they were i would be interested in it to be honest everybody likes it here so far well i'm sorry we haven't got a video out till now but like i said if you don't like those type of things you could go through paypal and it's same thread at yahoo.com and uh if you heck if you like cash app i believe kitty uh caddy set one up at uh dollar sign thane thrand a cash app so in any way you want to help out it'll help us out and if you have arms and armor and you would like to send them to us for us to test and or, or to review or to do actual destruction testing anything let us know and we'd be more than happy to take those items test them for you uh, blacksmith uh, weaponsmith if it's your company if it's just something you have and you just really want to see to see it tested or you'd like to donate it to the channel or, or obtain it for us that would be great just like connor swanson we'll be back with his axe soon I don't know how much we, we got a lot of wind head. i hope you can hear me but we're going to go uh, ahead and this try this out is this is the uh third video uh we have covered the, the canaanite duckville axe so you know don't forget that to see it and, mi and miss it we tested it on this type of material this oh! material performed very well but it now was able to kill our uh, opponent and we also did the actual kopesh this is one like p ramses the second would have used well, there's a lot of designs very similar to this and it's a beautiful kopesh this is one of the nicest ones that the large actually makes out of a stone mold so i am proud to own it but we're today we're going to be back with this as well i have the uh, charioteer armor and that's what i was going to say the fourth video is going to be the actual torso we're going to have multiple layers of linen kind of like what i'm wearing here we're going to have this we're going to test everything on it again but uh, also we have a special there will be an arrow we will be showing off in that one greek arrow from the bronze age it's a triangular shaped blade and it is an actual artifact that will be used on this but right now what we're going to do is i want to thank you one more time and we're going to go right into this head and i wanted to say that we have tested the middle bronze age spear we have tested it on like a car hood and a car That's door it was able to penetrate that as well we have tested it on a breastplate and, and it did about as good as a steel or iron spearhead on an actual breastplate really and this is a late century breastplate like a 15th century breastplate so i know bronze can do a lot but we're going to find out today with this uh, specific design from the egyptian age will do the bronze age and we've got a little bit of padding on here to make it fair i've got to hit this padding if i can on the first thrust and see if i can make it into the head just like the other spears had i don't know how much this will protect it because it is a thrust well it was a projectile weapon and a short spear so the spear wasn't as long as you see as like these big old long seven nine foot spears a lot of times this one's a little bit longer because i've actually got a counterbalance on it and the reason i put a weight on the back is some of their actual fighting spears i don't think that was the this. plan so i'm going to be it? using it with a shield today to break so I would think that's target. what they would be using, something to help pierce armor to give it a little more heft on the back and not slide out of hand if you let it go all the way and you kind of throw it and slide it. Because I believe they all use that type of technique. The brand's over on throwing slides, so we're going to do that, but we'll see. It did a lot last time and that was pretty amazing. All right, let's get going. All right, we're going to do Thran's over on throwing slide in theory, because I can like go way past the target and then bring it back so you get a little bit of a throw to it so it's going to have the same energy of a thrown spear this is very good very good indeed so we're going to go ahead and see what it does i don't know if it's going to hit that actual padding or go under it but we'll try to go straight into the skull ah! sorry ah! you gotta throw a little scream in there when you do it uh but i would say he's dead that was like a perfect spear thrust we're gonna have to examine this one so caddy will come up and caddy will definitely come up and look at this one and no our armor did nothing caddy you missed the armor that's why i managed to go right under it I don't what even happens think it, if you don't hit the armor his armor is totally armor protected uh, yeah his armor didn't do anything because this went in basically right in the top of his eye 
We went right under the eye socket and into the head. Right under? You went yeah. right in the eye socket? Yeah. I think just pull this off at this point so they can see what happened here. I don't think they can. I would say that's deep enough. Um, uh, yeah, I, he, I think he's dead. Yeah. It's gushing out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, what we can do now, if we want, is do another thrust, I guess. <laughs> at least do something else to the skull, you think, right? Make sure everything's secure here. I just don't want my equipment anywhere near that now. Do you think we should do an over th overhand throw? Uh, overhand or? Up to you. You know the equipment. I know the equipment. Okay. Yeah. And that was just into the head. I just want to see what it would do. I have the gel back. Yeah, I was hoping to hit the spine, but I did not hit the spine. So yeah. Is it bad? I want to know if it pulls off. Uh, yeah. I just don't think, unless I hit the skull, we're going to get any great results going in that way. Come on, so I can cut it with it. Oh! We're able to go straight back in. Did but that was kind of in the same spot. Was that the exact same spot? Yes. I don't think this spear was used in this manner, but we could try to come in and cut the throat a little bit and see what it does. I would say it went through. That was a nice cut. I don't know if this was used as a cutting weapon, but in any situation where you miss and come in, it's always possible to come back with a cut on a spear because it is really sharp. I'm sorry, that went all the way to about the spine. Uh, you can see that right here. Did you want to show that? Or? Look at a coupling. You can you see realize, it? Do you have a GoPro on your uh, Can you see it with a GoPro? Yes! This one and that one, and then this one went all the way through and out the side of the head. I was trying to hit the spine. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't think there's a lot more we can do with this on this type of head. I mean, I can hit the actual skull if I want, like I just did, and I hit the same spot. Uh, it's not going to do anything more impressive than go through our skull. The spear so, would be fitted for point, the torso. Let's do a redemption on our Kopesh. Oh! I would think that was a good uh, decaf. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't think I need to do a close up for it for well, one I'm reason. I'm going to pick it back up and set it up here for everybody. But it's got a little. Does it even? It, it has a little skin flap. You just broke, dropped the weapons. Naughty boy. Yeah, but I was going to show them. It's got a little skin flap for some reason. Uh, move your head slightly. But not much. That was yeah. basically a decap. You want to show a close up of it? I guess there's no need. At this point, the skin flap's gone. Very impressive. We did well. Sorry, it's not an extremely long video, but there's not a lot you can do with the uh, head. Our skull is the hardest part of the entire thing. We're able to go through the actual inside of the jaw here. We missed the spine in the jaw. So oh, I did damage it. We did. We nicked the jaw, but it came out the backside. We were able to stab the head two times and go through the same spot. <laughs> That's why we didn't do a close-up on that. The ones that I could see with the GoPro, we could see how it cut the flesh. So. Yes, if someone missed and they were happened to be using it uh, two-hand, you could. I, I don't think it would work as well one-handed, but you could get enough force to cut just like a knife and cut into somebody's throat where it's very damaging and it might actually kill them and make them bleed out or any other area like that. And I think the spear performed extremely well. It's not extremely broad, so the chance of hitting the spine is slimmer, so that's why we didn't continue with that. But we got to try the Kopash one more time, and I think that was a good cut. It's just our spine shattered. So the head was able to stay intact because there was nothing to hold it in place pretty much. That was our problem. It kind of lifted up and if you, if you pay attention. So yeah, but this was an excellent test. I think that it performed well and I can't wait to see what it actually does against the actual armor, which we knocked off. Oh, 
Yeah. We're going to be doing this and it's going to be on a vestment and it's going to cover the entire chest. I'll probably even wear it to show it off, to show what it looked like if you had that much coverage in the front. This will be all the way to the top and I think it's going to be extremely protective. But anyway, I'll boast to everyone. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Uh, you can actually buy shirts like I'm wearing too if you want to help out by buying merchandise. Be sure and be sure to subscribe, like us, comment. Everything you can do, it helps with the algorithm and it'll help all of us. And I'm just drinking tea today. But it's actually extremely cool today. That's why I'm wearing an undershirt and this shirt instead of the regular top. <laughs> I would have worn with this. And if you see me, I'm wearing jeans and a cow and sweater. Yeah, well, Kitty's even wearing something very, very uh, warm because it's around, what, 60 degrees? Uh, I think the high 67 today. Yeah, it's like 60 degrees right now. We've got a nice uh, wind coming in, a nice breeze. But like I said, help us out any way you can. I appreciate it. Uh, try to make the channel grow. That would be the best thing you could do for us. And if you can help uh, with monetary things, just let us know. I mean, that would be awesome. Any way you can do it, like send us anything to help us test or anything like that. But anyway, as always, sorry about the video in this manner taking so long to come out. I apologize. But I really enjoyed it. The spear is impressive. Thank you again, Neil Burridge. And uh, as always, Farvel. If you want to help support the channel, go by StreamElements.com and sport a Thane Thran YouTube shirt. Plus, there's many more items. You can come visit me on Twitch, Thran11. I do extreme gaming every night after 12 a.m. CST, U.S. time. You can become a patron on Patreon and uh, help support the channel and see content that can only be seen there.